Hello, it is Andrew from IDB. The new 2016 MacBook Pros will soon be shipping with the brand new touch bar. Well, until then, if you want to get an early look at what that touch bar can do with Apple's stock applications, we're going to show you how to do just that. All it requires is a simple download of an application right from GitHub, and of course, we made it easy and put the link down below in the description so you can download it for yourself. So you're going to follow that link and head over to GitHub and you're going to download this zip file. Inside there will be an application with an icon that looks like this that says touch bar server. You can either open it or drag it into your applications folder. If you drag it into your application folder you can see it here in launchpad. I will go ahead and open it up. It may give you a security warning. You can go ahead and just hit OK. Now anytime you hit function, that FN key in that lower left hand corner, you'll have the new touch bar appear right on your screen. It'll actually appear centered around wherever your mouse is. So if you move your mouse around the screen from bottom to the top, wherever you wanna go, the bar will center around that. So if you want it kind of right in the middle of your screen on the bottom, just put your mouse right on the center, hit function once and it'll appear. If you actually want to see your function keys appear on it, you can hold down the function button. Otherwise, it's just going to adapt to whatever app you're currently working in. Currently, support is only limited to Apple's native applications in the latest macOS Sierra beta. When you download, it'll tell you the most recent version that this app will actually work with. We aren't going to go through all the applications of what it can do, but we will look at a couple. So, you do have access always to your system functions there on the right hand side. That includes basic things like, you know, brightness of your screen, brightness of your keyboard, expose and launchpad, as well as your music controls and volume controls with that Siri button all the way there on the right. Clicking that X goes back to your main set of controls with the middle area reserved for whatever app you're currently focused on. So I'm on Safari right now, it'll say Safari in the menu bar, and that's what I'm seeing showing in that bottom uh, middle area of the touch bar. Now it does get a little complicated inside of Safari because it does take up a lot of space, but it's actually pretty neat in photos. You can simply swipe through, so while you have one up, you can actually click and hold, or in what would be your finger, you can just drag across that and see all your different photos. Obviously, using your mouse is not quite the same as using your finger when you're, you know your hands are at your keyboard, though it is a decent representation of what this would be like if you did have one of the new MacBook Pros with the touch bar. It is kind of neat. I do like, especially when you're editing photos, um, maybe you go to the crop control, you can actually drag it around similar to how you would on the iPhone. I thought that was a nice little effect. It does have that little wheel, really similar to how the Photos app is on the iPhone and iPad. So what do you guys think of the new touch bar on MacBook Pro? Let us know down in the comments below what you think and if you're planning to pick one up when they finally start shipping. As always, please go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.